हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज आदित्य एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मिल्क क्वालिटी प्रेडिक्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन दिस फर्स्ट सेल व्हाट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव इंपोर्टेड ऑल द रिक्वायर्ड लाइब्रेरीज सच एज नंपाय एंड पांडास एंड देन वी हैव इंपोर्टेड द नेसेसरी डेटा सेट व्हिच वी विल रिक्वायर सो दिस इज द डेटा सेट व्हिच वी रिक्वायर हियर milk new dot csv and then we have read this csv file using pd dot read underscore csv we named this data frame as df in order to see a glimpse of our data frame we will use df dot head so as you can see there are around 1 2 3 8 eight columns with names as ph temperature taste odor fat turbidity color grade etc etc and then we can do tf dot tail to see the last five rows we can also do df dot info the non null count is 1059 for all which means there are no null values in our data frame which is well and good then we have the data types of each and every row which is float for one and object for one and rest are integer values then we can use df dot describe to see the statistical analysis of our data then we can define our columns by df dot columns and we can name each of our columns then we are replacing low with 0 medium with 1 and high with 2 in the grade column since we need to replace the string values with integer values so we are replacing them with these then we are using call names list equals to will denote it with all the column names except for the grade then we are introducing a grade column which contains low medium high three values and then we are importing tensor flow as tf which will prepare the environment for us then from sk learn dot model selection import train test split which will again split our data frame into training and testing data and will keep our test size as 0.2 which means 20% would be the test data and the rest 80% would be the training data if you want to see the shape we can see it's 847 rows and 8 columns for df train and for df test it's 212 rows and 8 columns and then now we are popping the grade column for training our model we have to pop the output column so we are popping the grade column from both training and testing and we are introducing a new train underscore y and test underscore y to store the grading column in it for validation of our model will be using it for validation again now if you want to see train underscore y dot head we can see we have replaced the low medium and high values with 0 12 and the d type now is int previously it was object now if we want to see df train dot head as you can see the grade column is removed and we are left with only seven columns now and then we are defining an input function which will take the input uh, in place of dictionary it will first convert the dictionary input into a data frame so that's why we are creating this input function and then we are creating this list my feature column since all the columns here are of numeric values so we don't need the use of categorical columns here we can only use numeric columns to convert them and append them into my feature columns uh, you can pause the video and see all these values this is particularly the my feature columns and then we are calling the dnn classifier model we will be using this classifier model since linear classifier has a lot of estimations 
so we are using dnn classifier in place of linear classifier i have set the feature columns as this hidden units as 30 comma 10 and number of classes as 3 since we are having three outputs low medium and high therefore the number of classes would be 3 as well and now we are training our model classifier dot train input function would be lambda input function df train comma train underscore y comma training equals to true since we are training our model steps equal to 8000 you can increase or decrease your steps according to what accuracy you get if you are getting uh, at least 70 uh, 65 percent accuracy uh, your model is pretty good so adjust your steps according to how much accuracy you get we get the output as this scan dot dnn dnn classifier add this is the address and now if we want to evaluate our model like how much test set accuracy we got we can uh, use it using dot evaluate method and we'll be setting the input function as df test comma test underscore y comma training equals to false since no training is involved here now we got the test set accuracy as 67.9 percent which is pretty good uh, any accuracy above 65 is good so you can try or model over it and now using this model you can predict the quality of milk which is low medium or high if you get zero as the output the quality of milk is low if you get two as the output the quality of milk is high so this is how we do milk quality prediction thank you